Drew, on the Jalen three, what did you see and, and what type of uh, look did you have in regard to seeing him in the corner there? I saw Jalen wide open. Um, you know, sometimes plays like that, it's kind of hard because you got to see both sides simultaneously sometimes. But uh, saw one side and looked the other side, and Jalen was wide open, so just kind of had to lead him to the corner. And that's a great shot. He, he pretty much did everything. How would you describe the battle for tempo in this game, probably in, in the series, where obviously some points in time you want to play in the half court and both teams seem to want to get out in transition? Yeah, uh, it definitely was a battle. And we know what type of team they are. They're never going to give up. And we've seen that not only during the year, but um, especially through their playoff run. So I think just trying to be as consistent as possible is uh, on the boards and um, trying to stop them in transition. They pass the ball up so well. They move the ball so well, especially uh, off the rebound that um, sometimes it gets tough. But some will probably go back and, and look at his uh, transition defense. Drew, first of all, how do you feel after 48 plus minutes uh, play of basketball? It's I feel pretty good. We had a break for a while, so I'm, I'm all right. So the so the break helps. 100. Um, <clears> percent <throat> When you look at kind of pulling this out, like they have a couple of turnovers late. Everybody was kind of like thinking like, okay, it's a game one loss and all of a sudden it flips. What do you what do you take from that? Is that just resilience? Is that, do you sit there and you go, whew, we pulled one out here? I think we always knew that there's always a chance. We've seen crazy stuff happen all the time. So um, I don't think that we think we lost the game until we actually lost the game. And, and that's part of the reason why um, we were so resilient you know what I mean, toward the end of the game. Um, like I said, anything can happen. Um, a couple turnovers, uh, a great shot, a great look by JB. Or on the other end, um, I mean, we make a couple of other shots that were wide open, and it could be a completely different game. So we're just the type of team that's going to gonna keep on fighting no matter how long and no matter what it takes. Drew, I, I just want to ask you, you're probably the guy who has had to you know, sacrifice offensively the most throughout the year. How do you stay ready to have a night like tonight where you scored 20 points after halftime and every single one of those points was critical? I think just continually being aggressive, continually working on my game, continually uh, having the coaches and, the t and my teammates in my ear telling me that um, they're going to need me. And, um, and even just knowing, like, uh, especially times during the game, just being aggressive and no matter what in, what, no matter what end of the floor it's on. So uh, I'm going to continue to do that, and, and we'll see what happens. Drew, Jason had a, a turnover midway through the fourth quarter that led to the three free throws for Halliburton. It looked like after they went over and said something to him, I wonder if you remember what you said and what you thought of how he finished with those you know, six points in the last minute and a half. Um, really just to be aggressive. Uh, I think it was just a miscommunication on our part, uh, on both of us, but really just talking about figuring it out and, and if that happens again, what we're going to do. So. Drew, how do you have to kind of slow down? They're, they're just, their tempo is so fast. And if you kind of keep up with it, it leads to mistakes. Like, how do you kind of control those mistakes, some of those turnovers that just seem to be simple? Like, how do you kind of control that uh, as the series progresses? I think a lot of it is concentration. Um, making the right plays. We know that they're going to play fast and, and um, they're going to be very physical, but we are too. So uh, make the right plays, make the right passes, be tough with the ball, and then execute from there. Um, uh, I think uh, being aggressive and uh, kind of finishing your food at the rim and making those layups will slow them down somewhat just because they have to take the ball out of the rim. Is it good to kind of be on the brink and then come back and win? Is it, is it energizing for the locker room to know that you can win a game like this when it seemed like you guys were, were down? Uh, for sure. But I also think we, we always knew we could. Um, close games, I, I don't think, have ever bothered us. I think that we've always um, stayed poised. And no matter if it's a win or a loss, we knew that uh, we'd always give ourselves a chance. So again, today, um, what down three with, with some seconds left and, and making a big shot and making big plays after that. Uh, we knew we had it in us.